you are returned, but where is Mr. Snedana? Oh, you wouldn't want to know. Manusia Preserve! Just when we s had succeeded in making the talisman! I, I must report this at once! Meanwhile, please return to the great work. Something's gone awry, hasn't it? What happened? Uh, how to tell you this? So it was Fendaniel after all. Damn that bastard! I'm sure you wanted to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily, lest we endanger Nidana and the other captives. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, Nidana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh uh, no! I, I am not good with talking. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Nod, nod. Punch. Palm. Oh, Nidana. Can, can you answer me this? Though Nidana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? Then... Then we must make warding scales. As many as we can. The prototype works, works perfectly. This Nidana proved at peril to herself. So let us make more scales that she and all those who were taken might be saved. I, as alchemists, this is how we will help win the fight. Well, so they are determined, at least. My friends, the satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link pearl that he might personally discuss the production of the warding scales with you. And for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nidana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. This fact came to the satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. Okay. In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it's agreeable, will you not accompany me to Razatan for an audience with His Excellency? Let's go. We should be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be to the benefit of all. Then it's settled. Please come to the gates east of the giant skull grounds, and I will show you into the city. Yay, let's go to Rodzatan. Oh, everyone is here. We need to talk to them first. Rianjae? Be it here or, or in Eorzea, all share in the desire to deliver the captives. Thus united, I pray that we may join and come cause with the satrap. Yeah, and what about Estinian? When, when last I visited, the city was brimming with life. I es expect the tower has dampened the mood somewhat. And Thancred? Of the satrap, I only know the common tidbits. That though the position is hereditary, he is not considered a sovereign. And that, despite possessing considerable authority, he wields sparingly. Given the, given the esteem in which the locals hold him, however, it's safe to assume he is good at his job. We could do far worse for an ally. Or present? Then let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert, and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Damn it. I miss you already.
doing the slowest walk in the earth, I see. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. This is a rather small door, if you ask me. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. It's so alight and colorful. Mm -hmm. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Are we going straight to the satrap? Or will we have time to attune? I like it. Here we are, Megaduta. Mm hmm. What's Megaduta? Rolling place? It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. Ah, it's no problem. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas. It seems our tour of the city will have to wait. Yeah, we can do it later. You know, after we save the world. I'm afraid so. Come. We should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Hello, we are here. Oh, you're an Aura. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Zatan. Nice to meet you too, Ahawan. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. Young? I still think he is Britra. May I express to you our sincere gratitude. But Nidana, she was taken. Or, not everything went to plan. Well, I'm going to choose the second one, I suppose. I assume you speak of Nidana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman. That it will be instrumental in saving Nedana and the others. Yeah, you should make more of them. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. Why that those chair armchairs do look very comfortable? I think not. What? This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. Okay. As you wish.
or maybe a child of his? Oh. Was assistance to the students of Valdesian. But you are known to me. Hi. Have you heard of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? Hi, Rutra. And for years, uncounted, hath this isle served as mine abode. Well, what about Warshan? Of the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelger and Nidhogg. Yes, indeed. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Oh, this is their little brother. <laughs> he was the last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge. As the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. Hmm. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. Uh -huh. In time, the okay. ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Look at those. Oh my. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. Mm hmm Okay. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the great worm endured. Well, that's a far better story than this card. <laughs> Until what? We're all oh, the yeah. From the I mean, mainland uh, came. A far peaceful story. Our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Adhan. But if Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Oh, I like this guy. Many envy the great worms that were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. Yeah, they would try to take your eyes. We know that I story. I the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who joined me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Well, Estinian saw right through you. It was taken. Oh! Not really, I suppose. Tis here, buried within the semblance of flesh. Oh, he gave it willingly to the child? The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. I knew he was Ritra, so he's act he's sitting here, and then there's this body that his eye possesses. I knew it! Yeah. Uh, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Well, Estinian's senses are yeah, very you, sharp. You can't sure really. <laughs> yeah. It seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, Estinian one blood. He knows. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. 
not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rats and I'm listening. What do you want from me? With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. Okay. Yet even with the Let's assurance go. of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. <laughs> No problem, just send me. Thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Hmm. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. Sure path, aka the scions. Yes, I did those. Upon that strength I would call. The scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Yes, leave it to me. Talismans would, of course, <laughs> be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. That would be awesome. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Uh. It is no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. Okay. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Oh, so we are going back to Charlian. Okay. I was thinking maybe we would do the dungeon now. Estinian? Will thou not lend thine aid? Estinian, where are you going? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. Okay, where are you going then? Where are you? Oh, you are I still talking! Well, he's a man of action, not words. Y yeah, but still! Tancred doesn't talk that much either, but, you know. Uh, yes, Tancred. Tancred talks a lot. Mostly women. Uh, it used to be like that, Riange, um, that we should encounter one of the first brood in such a circumstance. Yeah, Estini, what are you going to say? If our course of action is decided, let's not tarry. I told you, he's like, let's do it. That meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but we now have a clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades in Charlian and muster a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Zot. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to attune to the Aetherite here before departing. Unless, of course, you enjoy violent nausea. <laughs> Enter the main hall. I am expecting a cutscene of sorts. Oh, can I talk to everyone? Will they say something interesting? No, these guys are not saying anything new. Oh, what about Rianjai? Ritra and his alchemists have prepared us for our foray into the tower. What we may accomplish within its twisted walls remaineth to be seen. That Arcasodra, language in Telephoroic chains, doth forewarn us of the nature of our foe. It's the gods of Thavnir who will be summoned to thwart us. The conflict between Nidog and I is in the past. Though oh, they were brothers, it has no bearing on my view of Ritra. Above all else, he's a leader of man, not an enemy. He would hardly dedicate his life to this endeavor if he bore our kind any ill will. Just as I was getting used to balmy Thavnir, we are back in chilly Charlian. Take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, 
Everyone appears to be here, so let us take stock of all the developments and discoveries. Let's do that, yes. Uh, thank you. There is something you want to say? Are you turned by way of Kit's experimental etherite? Yet I must say, it was far less taxing than our first attempt. And apparently we need only ask if we wish to use it again. Now, I'm not terribly eager to repeat the experience, but if you are willing to test your ethereal fortitude for the sake of technological advancement, then who am I to stop you? Since there has been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings from our respective locales? Yes. Yes, let's do that. Music change. Yeah. Determined music starts. Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. Yeah, indeed it has. In my opinion, carrying out Beatrice's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. Yes, let's do a dungeon, please. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. Have I told them who Fandaniel is? Because I have a feeling that Graha may have a few things to say about that. Mm. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Orenvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Amalja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Hmm. Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal, thus the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. So what are we going Unless, to do? Of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. That's okay. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Good thinking, Uriangé. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with. And defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Uh, Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. Okay. That duty can be covered by Uriange, Kryl, Yostola, and myself. We can do that. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosova by a considerable margin. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Are you sure Alphano is in the right group? What if Alizae, she knows a healing spell or two? Aren't you forgetting someone? I don't have that option. I'm going to choose that one because if it's special, I'm going to choose that one. Oh. As our most talented healer, we need you oh. leading the fan. I'm a healer! Oh, that's why it's a special one. Oh, I love this! That's why. Oh, I love this! Special treatment for the healers! I love it! Okay, I went for Altino and Graha says. If you are if you're to fight primals, then you'd best have at least one healer with you. Ah, that, that, oh, I love it! 
Yeah. If you by any chance come to any secret dialogue options like that, tell me, okay? Yeah. I love this one. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense because I'm I'm in DPS. Yeah. Look how he's looking at me. Oh. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rods at Han of our movements. So let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. Oh, we are going to the dungeon this time, right? Please tell me. In what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. Mm -hmm. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it. So there's no excuse for being late. <laughs> well, I'm I'm punching my palm again, so. Nabdeen! Oh, our friend of Eorzea! We have been expecting you! You and yours will lead the mission into the tower, I'm told. The warding scales will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by at the boat we have readied. When your fellows arrive, I will direct them to join you. We pray for your safety and success. Thank you, Nabdeen! And my friends are here. Uh, if this is the future of ether I travel, I think I'll stick to boats. <laughs> oh, she got the ether sickness. <laughs> I, no warning, however empathic, could have prepared me for that emphatic. Ugh, why am I not able to read today? On account of which we are a little late. But fighting fit, mostly. It's okay. Oh, hi, Ritra. My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be, uh, we should still call you Varshan, I suppose? Indeed, it would not do to confuse our soldiers. Mm-hmm. Very well, then. For our part, we are humbled that you should see fit to entrust us with your warding scales. Please convey as much to His Excellency. One for each of you. Please accept them with my blessings. Our thanks. With ease, we can go anywhere those with the blessing of light can go. Not only for this operation either, but all the ones to come. We can finally break our monopoly on primals. I have been waiting for this day. I wouldn't mind carrying on as before, you know. Or in that case, they are all yours from now on. <laughs> you can deal with the primals from now on if you want to. <laughs> now I've been waiting for this day that you could join me, my friends. So have we, my friend. So have we. If everyone is amenable to it, let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we will divide into two groups. Alia and her band will break through the tower's defenses and locate a score. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners, who will doubtless want f for healing due to the dress of repeated summonings. Yes. The primals which the tower bringeth forth shall be deities of Thavnarian myth. Yes. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. Don't worry about that. We commence the operation at your word, my friend. For the people of Thalnir, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Yes. Let's go. So windy. Yeah, it is windy and raining. Thank you! I will 
and try to have fun. Try is the keyword. Yeah, try is the keyword. Try we have a naked Hrothgar with us. And I'm not even joking. Okay, let's give you... Oh, and he's our tank. Mm. Yeah, dear god. So... I will just do my usual things. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh my goodness, look around. This armored thing. Why? Oh, I pulled it! <laughs> Sorry, tank! Oh, they're, they're coming with us, by the way. Oh, oh they're jumping oh, they're down. They're jumping okay, down. that's interesting. Okay, everyone have your... Good luck! The tank said good luck! I have concerns right now. Come here. Uh, I, I was... I was trying to, you oh, made you it. made it. I was trying to rescue you actually. Uh oh. Uh hmm. Oh, it's the donut here. My my fairy responded to my command straight away. Without okay. delay. I'm so happy right now. Uh oh, even more. Uh oh, run! Nope, nope. I couldn't escape that. Wait. Oh, we did the boss. You here, and oh, look at those! Oh my! Aren't you ugly? Our oh, second boss. There we go. What are you going to do? Ah, uh, what are those? Do we need to go to the empty space here? Probably. That would be my idea. Yep, oh, exactly. Yes. Ow! What is this? Oh shit, I'm We'll stuck. be frozen in time when count reaches... Oh! Oh, this is something you can't avoid. Don't even think about it. Confused? I am confusion! Oh, right. The one that does not emote is the one that we need to kill. Oh, okay. I know this, Mediator! I know this! And we need- Oh my goodness, uh oh. Oh shit. Ouch. Oh, um, I'm attacking other people and I hope this will not hurt us too much. Oh, it hurt us too much. Come on, can we please? Hmm. Well, she's dead. There we go. Here, guys, have your dots. And you, sir, have your shield. And then have your x -cog. And then have your lustrate. There we go. Dum 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 Okay, no healing needed for the moment. Then face the full wrath of the ma Uh oh. Which one do we need to kill first? I don't know. Okay, this is pure chaos. Are we even killing the right person? Uh oh. Do we need to kill Sindruva first so that she doesn't raise the others? I have a feeling that that might be the case. I think you need a potato? Maybe! That might be the case, that's why! We didn't have a potato in the group, that is why! This is the core that they were talking about, I suppose? Is everyone alright? Yes, yes, we're alright. We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Mm -hmm. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. Yeah, quite before the sun, probably. The lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. Thanks for the description, Kryl. 
I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Stan? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. Yeah, that's the core, isn't it? This is the core we seek. Yep. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. Tis as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Be careful, Ishtala. What? There is something there embedded inside the core. What do you mean? What? What did you see? What? This is what we came to destroy. What limb and what man? <laughs> Yo, which man's limb? Uh Yes, if you would be so kind. Thanks, Estinian. Mighty kind of you. And that should be the end of it. Are we sure about that? Can we please get out? What now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. How are we going to save everyone then? For you. And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Uh. <sighs> what of the prisoners below? The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. Uh. I pray I'm not too late. Are, are you teleporting us? Did you teleport everyone? Graha? What happened? I hope he teleported Where himself as well. He did, he's on the beach. My question is, he's he was like, oh, I'm never very good with magics. So I'm drawing from the crystal tower for the energy required to do such magics and like. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood, but it is as if it never existed. Graha? Hardly a scratch, but how? Graha? Is Graha all right? I'm running! Like, oh no. No, 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 don't do anything to him. Please don't. Please. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everything. Oh, levitation spell. Okay. Uh, he's probably very exhausted right now. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. Yeah, but is he all right? Don't touch my cat boy, please. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Oh, that's good to hear. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. Are they? Uh, mm. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Yeah. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Can we can we do the Angelo shenanigans? Care of that. Yeah, please. I have every faith in you, Alize, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porxies. Mm -hmm. and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Please do so. Hail, Sions. 
Or maybe the dragon can help us? You know? We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. This music is playing on. We are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. Are you going to help us? Please help us, dragon. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Look at his little tail. Oh, Nidana, are you all right? Well, uh, you can't speak, but... Hmm. A man's limb. I am curious about that. The liberated prisoners are being transported to Ratzathan for treatment. Elise and Nishtola will oversee the administration of the tempering treatment with support from those who know a healing spell or two. We'll go and join them in the city once you have had a moment to catch your breath. Had enough rest, have you? Yeah, for like literally 10 seconds. You never were one for being idle. Right. Or Sean bade us to come to Megaduta at our earliest convenience. The others will join us there once they have finished tending to the prisoners. Oh, wait. On second thought, you and Essene should go on ahead. I need to make a quick detour by the great work. Huh? We left Graha in the alchemist's care, you see. Best to fetch him before he is crammed into a specimen jar. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Just you and me then. The guardsman at the gate should weigh us through. All right. Can you please make sure that nobody touches Graha? Anything you want to say? When we delivered Graha to the alchemists, they were not a little excited. Perhaps it was Nidana's rescue that brought them joy, but given their fascination with Estinian, I'm not quite sure. So, Estinian is here again. I'm going to talk to him first. With the tower gun, I expect the state of alert will be lifted. That's all you say? Okay. Hello, can you take us to the city? Oh, honored silence! You're free to enter at your leisure. As I cannot leave my post, I'm afraid you must make your own way. Should you require directions in the city, the sentry stationed at the fountain atop the steps should be glad to assist you. Though I have been to Radzat Han before, this place is a veritable maze. Rather than risk letting, uh, getting lost, we had best ask for directions from the sentry at the fountain. Lead the way, and don't expect me to act as your tour guide like certain <laughs> others. Estinian! That was mean. Estinian, what about our history together? Come on! Attentive Radiant. Hello. Sir. Are you a sir? Yes, you're a sir. Ah, oh, Mr. Celia, I presume. I understand you're here for an audience with the satrap. If you require directions to Megaduta, I should be glad to provide them. Yes, please. The satrap's residence is situated in Dharma, the highest part of Radzat Han. To get there, I would ordinarily recommend a route uh, that takes you by the bazaars in the city's north. Due to the state of alert, however, most businesses are uh, currently closed and the uh, e disabled. As such, I will provide you with an alternate path. First, please ascend the steps next to this fountain, then continue left. There will be more steps, and upon ascending them, you will emerge on Paxa's path. Proceed through the large door on the right, and you will arrive at Ruveda Fibers. Within, you will find another sentry who will give you further guidance. See, seriously? Alright. In other words, we head up. Sounds straightforward enough. Okay. Do I go in here? Yes. Hello. Hello, watchful radiant. Heading to Megaduta, are you? In that case, please follow this hallway to my right, to your right, okay, to my left, and go through the door at the top of the stairs. 
You will emerge at the entrance to the airship landing, where another sentry should be it should be on hand to assist you. Incidentally, if you ascend the steps to the either side of me, you will find the workshops of Rueda Fibers. Though you are free to observe the artisans, take care not to lose your way. So, we are not taking these, but we are going to the stairs here. If you're here for an airship, I'm afraid all flights have been suspended until further notice. So the state of alert is still in effect. Perhaps it's for the best. That aside, we are not here for an airship. We have business at Megaduta. Oh, in that case, permit me to direct you. From here, it's quite simple, really. Ascend the steps and then continue straight ahead and across the bridge. You cannot miss it. Dharma. Oh, I remember passing by here with Warshan. The situation being as it was, he regretted not being able to show us the sights. Life has yet turned to normal here, but when it does, you ought to pay another visit. Though the city is confusing, the food is quite good. I'm partial to Hamza myself. The meat is surprisingly tender and flavorful. Are you eating these birdies? Cox, cox! <laughs> He's irrita irritated Hamza here. Hello, attendant. Greetings and welcome to Megadota. May I inquire after your business? We're members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Come at the invitation of His Excellency. Oh, of course, we've been expecting you. I'll show you into the audience chamber, if you would please follow me. This is... is this voice acted? Mm -hmm. What is Destiny in? Why are you looking like that? Ah! Graha is well. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Ah, you just arrived. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. <laughs> Whatever you mean by that, Graha. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Mm hmm. Oh, I was Full supposed to take our. To see you all unharmed. Ah, oh, I was going to take a screenshot of ours, but I couldn't. Valiant science, for your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. Ah, oh, don't mention Rutra. That dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Thank you, Ritra. your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzatan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. Mm -hmm. The finished ones have been collected, and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. A Camilla, you say. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. Okay, I will do so. Thanks for the letter. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Yeah, how did they pluck so many scales off of him? Oh my. Yeah, ow. 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 Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Hmm. Albeit brief, 
My involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Mm. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. I mean, probably. And yet, you chose to live among men. How <laughs> the dragon song is playing. This is not fair. My choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here. Secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. Oh, Essenian, are you listening? It would seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. Oh, what are you going to ask? The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days. An apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay, when war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth naught, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. No, <laughs> why is Ishtola not very happy about this? <laughs> Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. I am so bothered with his wounds. They look terrible. Tis a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question. Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? That's a good question. To which Midgard Summer did reply, "'Twas the last bastion of hope." He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Telophoroi is far from finished. Okay, where are we going next? We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. Oh, cry. Cry, Lena. Her phone. Pretty a moment. Oh, you want to talk to me? There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aosia's champion. 
This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. Yeah, it's me, Retro. Thank you. It got Zomer and I have crossed paths, yes. Or, I only wish he could be here with us now. I'm going to say that one, I think. I know of his clash with Omega and the long slumber which was his price. Oh, you know of it. Okay. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. He's watching me? T'was a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amidst God's summer's trust. But alongside my narration runneth a rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. What do you mean they are swept up in the storm of my existence? What do you mean? Oh, is Isel? Why am I remembering Isel? Umbrida? Don't tell me you're going to show me Horse of One. Papa Limo? Memphilia? Of course you're going to show me Horse of One. Damn you, game! Take her. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou will need come the end. <sighs> that was cruel. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. These words are very ominous, if you ask me. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Yep. Ah. Uh. And suddenly they come in. No, 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 no. Don't touch my twins. Ah, no, please. Obvious. We haven't meant to interrupt. Is this some kind of foreshadowing? Because I don't like it if it's a foreshadowing. Don't touch my children, please, please. Not, let nothing happen to them. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... Tis I who must apologize. I have to change your champion over long with idle chatter. Idol? I wouldn't call it idol. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall, where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. Thank you, Ritra. Kind dragon. Oh, for now. Our apologies again. I hope we didn't force you to conclude your conversation prematurely. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. So, what were you and Ritra talking about? I can't tell you, Alize. Nothing? Very well, if you say so. The others have gone ahead to the High Crucible. Let's catch up to them. Okay. What are you going to say? Like his sister Tiamat, Ritra is possessed of a gentle soul. I'm glad they're on our side. 
The attendant was kind enough to give me directions to the High Crucible. First, let us return to the Mulberry Orchard. Okay. I understand the mulberries are for the sick ones. Grown a stone stone's throw away from the Satrap's residence. It gives it uh, the quintessential Thamnerian flair, don't you think? Huh. From here, we are supposed to follow the path left and past the mulberries. Okay. The word yuge uh, apparently means bind in the local tongue, and this district is so named because it connects all others in the city. If we manage to come this far, we shouldn't have trouble finding the High Crucible, or so I was told. Where the street turns, enter the door straight ahead, then descend the steps. I thought the Crystarium was confusing. Crystarium was not confusing. But it doesn't compare to Radzat Han. The architecture and decorations make it even harder to get your bearings. Anyway, let's see where this door takes us. Alize? We phew! It seems we are on the right track. Yes. And here's the Aetherite Plaza. So far so good, and there isn't much further to go. From here we just need to cross to the other side of the hall, then pass through the larger of the of two doorways. The High Crucible lies beyond. I suspect the others have already collected the, uh, the warding scales. Come, let us join them. The other's land had been afforded a respite. In turmoil do many others languish still. Our work is far from finished. You took your time. Got turned around, I take it. Wait, you took your time? That's what you said in the trailer! What an immense laboratory! How many such places were enlisted to help forge the warding scales, I wonder? That's in the end. As I heard it, after you defeated Nidog, the scales found their way into the hands of the Firmament's artisans. Steeped in power as they are, it's no surprise that they were coveted. Still, it is a strange legacy for the Wentful Worm. Nishtola? Excellent, you're in time to hear the latest good news. Oh, there are good news? Trial? The students have previously turned to Radzat Han's alchemists for help with the analysis of various artifacts. That's how I became acquainted with Nidana. I'm glad we could rescue her and pray she makes a full re recovery. Graha? I'm quite well now, I assure you. As they say, the stronger the taste, the stranger the color. <laughs> the more effective the remedy. With my body trying to replenish the ether I spent, however, I'm feeling rather famished. I think a sampling of the local delicacies is in order. Hamza cuisine would be a good place to start, perhaps. We are lost, of course, but at least we found the place. Oh, cutscene time. Oh, why is it playing Endwalker song? These are the talismans we were promised. Yeah. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Good. How did they make so many so quickly? Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Hey. Okay. Nice. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper, and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. It's not a bad idea, but still... Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. But still, I'm not sure it will work. I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Oh, so, well, we will have to go to Garlemald at one point for the quest line, so I suppose this idea will be accepted by the... by the leaders. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. I can head eastward. Mm -hmm. Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. Okay. You we do that. The burden, then. 
Where are we going? Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. Mm -hmm. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. I can do, miss. Please, I must speak with you. Oh, Nidama. Hi. Are you well? Nidana, you're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. Oh, it must be Elise. It seems I'd been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. Elise, that's your doing. I know. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. Oh, my girl. Good of you. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnir from an awful fate. That's what we do, Nidana. That's what we do. Even Estinian smiles. Yet who hath truly saved whom? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Yeah, it's actually it's actually Nidana that saved us by replications of thy making those talismans ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. She made the prototype, so. Oh, the talisman? Is this true? Yes, it's working. Yes. I was so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. She's so excited. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. You're going to make me cry, Nidana. Stop. <laughs> uh oh. What? What? Why are you yellow? Look at that. Its color is completely changed. Is it because of happiness? What do you have there? It's a flower. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. Akasha? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Me neither. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Harnish alchemical theory. Ah. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. Yeah, that's what the flower does. Changes color. Why that it is distinct from ether? Our foreign scholars often conflate the two. But we see them as separate concepts. Ah. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Hmm. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. A gift bestowed from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. Spiritual emotion? Mm. As a veteran of the battlefield, Surely you've experienced moments of desperation Cheers. or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have that. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. <laughs> Ishtola is like, let me learn more. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Don't be! You told us many things. Nonsense! You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. I quite agree with Cryo. Shall we depart for Charlian then? Yes. I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the annex. Let's go. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Uh, thanks for the warning, Thancred. It's good to be back, and with the fruit of our labor safely in storage. For now, we have but to wait for the others to return from their respective meetings with the Alliance leaders. As Thangrid suggested, you should get some rest in the meantime. Welcome back, Alia! Kryal has apprised me of your recent accomplishments. What an amazing feat to eliminate a tower and pave the way to deal with the rest. Well, if it isn't much, I've changed your sheets and plumped up your pillow! Oh, thank you! <laughs> After all, there's nothing like collapsing in a nice, clean bed after completing a major mumstone. Be it penning a thesis or defeating de deform entities. So, would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? Hmm, it's back to normal. The flower. The view is nice. Take heart and protect them well. Oh no. Take heart is what Ritra told us. What the? Good, you're here. What's going on? You haven't eaten yet, have you? Did you bring food? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the <laughs> finest dining from the last stand. Okay. I'm up for that. But why do they enter again after I remember what Ritra said? This is most concerning. Look at the Graha. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Doesn't like cucumbers. Yeah, apparently so. Or pickles. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. Yeah, where is he? He didn't want to come, did he? But he refused with a rather grin-faced, No, thank you. <laughs> I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. But this burgers! <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? <laughs> Perhaps. Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. Oh, Alizé would do that. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian. Beset on all sides. <laughs> what am I eating? 
Or what am I not eating? A girl has stop! <laughs> Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Yeah, she did that. Ah, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Hmm. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Yeah, she said that. Twill be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Exactly. Come to think of it. Isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. And Graha continues eating, by the way, and we're just sitting there. Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlofaroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. Someone's getting sentimental again. Hey! <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> the swift the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Seriously, Alize. Barely, barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. Maybe? You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume. Aye, and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. Twas necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. <laughs> or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. Yes, that's what he means. I... Uh, yes, well, after a fashion. Why oh, so cute? What is it, Graha? They're tall, you see. <laughs> 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 I could hardly move the library's path without attracting attention now, could I? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Graha is actually shorter than my character, I think. What is he? 5'2"? Are we pushing on until dawn? Shall we call it a night? You do know these are my quarters? No, 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 I, I am not going to say that. I am not going to call it a night either. Are we pushing on until dawn? I would like that, actually. Yeah, you know. I'm not that ambitious. But it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. Yeah. Alize ate all of Graha's sweets! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's green now? Oh, oh my goodness. Not him, I was having a good time! I 
was just having a good time. Why? Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur or fashioned from the skins of your enemies or well never mind that his voice is different mm -hmm. i come to you once more as the bearer of bad news our tower in thavnir has been toppled and i need not tell you by whom yeah i did that Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable our foe <laughs> is bold enough of that i can assure you ah uh, yes very well then i suppose i must prepare a proper welcome now they know Honestly, that we are going to go there nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy does nothing else spark your interest? No. Hmm. No. D -d All it's else just us. Is equal. Equally tedious. <laughs> equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. I was not expecting that Don't sentence. <laughs> but then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Xenos, why are you talking like this? Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. <sighs> this guy and his obsession. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Good questions, Mercy, Enos. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. Oh? It was a fragmented thing, disjointed, all the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. What are you planning, Fandaniel? Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. 
Oh, nice screenshot. Yeah, I took that too. <laughs> <laughs>